Hi everyone and welcome back to the London Watch Collector channel. If you've just tuned in to my channel, I'm a watch collector, a watch enthusiast, I'm basically addicted to watches. And on my channel, I'll be sharing my passion for watches using 4K content. I'll be discussing and showing you brilliant timepieces ranging from Seiko to Patek Philippe. So guys, if you enjoy my reviews, please subscribe to my channel and make sure to follow me on Instagram. So as promised, last week I did how to adjust your Patek watch. This week I'll be doing how to adjust your AP watch. This is not the most common movement because this movement, which is the 2121, it's actually only on the jumbo. It doesn't have a quick date function. It doesn't have a screw down crown. So I wouldn't see it's the best comparison or the best review that I could do to give you a brief idea on how to adjust your AP. But I'm sure lots of watch enthusiasts out there have the 15202 Jumbo or they're looking to buy one and they just wanted to have a brief idea on how to set it. So I thought it would be a good idea to do a review where I'll explain to you how to adjust your AP watch. So the box you see in front of you, it's actually up for a giveaway. I did a video a couple of months ago where I told you guys the moment we hit 10,000 followers on Instagram, I have a bunch of items all related to watches that I'll be giving away on my channel. So please show your support to the channel by following me on Instagram as well. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, then please do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start this review. The design of this case is actually quite unique. So it's actually a flap at the front and it just opens up and it's fully cushioned all over the watch from all the sides. And what I've done is I've let the watch wind itself down so that we can have a good idea on how to start it from scratch. So it stopped on the 10th of October. So it's been off my wrist for around five days. Honestly, frankly speaking, this isn't the easiest watch to either wind or adjust. And the thing is, once you wind it, the only way to find out whether it started or not is to look at the case back and checking the movement if it started going or not. So there you can see that the movement has not started yet, obviously. The first thing you should do is give it a couple of winds to ensure that the movement has started. So with this model, unlike the other AP, there's no need to unscrew the crown. So this position actually is the position to wind it. So let's check. Yep, there it goes. You can see the movement started. So next thing would be is to adjust the time. So I would recommend doing it one day before. So today's being the 15th of October, so we're going to adjust it to the 14th. So the secret is you have to do it from roughly 10.45. So that's 10.45 p.m. and go forward till around midnight or let's say 12.30, go back again to 10.45 and then advance to midnight and you keep doing that until you get the correct date. So for us, we wanted the 14th. So now we have 14th midnight. So now it's actually 10 in the morning on the 15th. So we're just going to advance another 24 hours to make sure that we have the correct AM or PM. So we just crossed the noon on the 14th. Now you should have it changing to the 15th, two minutes before 12. And it's 10.02 to be exact. Then just push back the crown and we're all set. Give it another couple of turns on the crown just to increase the power reserve. And we're 
all set. So now you know how to adjust your 15 to 2 jumbo and I hope you found this review helpful. Stay tuned for next week where I'll be showing you how to adjust your Rolex watch. That's all for this week. Thank you for watching.